Yo, what's going on guys? Evan Sanaka here, back with another video. In today's video, I'll be telling you guys what are the best badges to invest in for this upcoming weekend. If you guys don't know, a great way to make MT is investing in badges Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then selling them Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So in today's video, giving you guys my best investments for silver and bronze badges. But before we get into the video, if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe down below. I post three to four of my team videos every single day and give you guys some of the best my team content on the platform. Without further ado, let's get on to the video so guys basically what we're going to talk about in this video is we're going to pick some badges that i think that could go up a lot on this coming friday so i think a good one is going to be quick first step you guys should be able to find bronze quick first steps for under 2000 mt like 1.2 thousand mt for quick first step i think is an absolute steal i've always said for the past couple weeks for over the last week or two quick first step has been really cheap and i think if a card that comes out on friday that needs quick first step like a big man a power forward a small forward this badge is going to go up in price a lot Quick first step isn't the best one to invest in because a lot of cards that come out now do have quick first step. I think quick first step on bronze and on silver for only 1,000 MT, 1 1.2 thousand MT, I think is definitely worth worth it. We look at silver. Silver is a bit more expensive, maybe at the 3,000, 2.5. So maybe if you can find silver quick first steps for like 1.7. 2000 MT, I think it could be some really good investments. And let me just quickly explain how this works. So basically what you guys want to do is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you guys want to look for some of these badges, right? I'm posting this video on Wednesday. So you guys definitely have enough time to go through and look for these badges that I'm telling you guys and invest in them. And then you want to sell them on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, because that's when badge prices are at an all time high, especially if a good card that comes out that needs a certain badge. For example, this past Friday, James Harden, Lonzo Ball, uh, Derek Rowe, Jalen Rhodes, they all had one badge that they were missing, like all of them. It was Rim Protector. Every single one of them did have Rim Protector. And Rim Protector is an amazing badge. A Rim Protector went from like two to 3,000 MT all the way up to like eight to 10,000 MT. Another one was Limitless Spot Up. We know Lonzo Wall needs Limitless Spot Up. I'm pretty sure Jalen Rose needs Limitless Spot Up. And I think Derek Rose, I think Derek Rose had it, but I know Lonzo Ball needs Limitless Spot Up. So Silver Limitless Spot Up, I don't know how much it's going for right now. We can check. Um, yeah, it's back down to 8,000 MT. This was up to 15,000 MT on Friday and Saturday because of Lonzo Ball. It's even dropped a little bit. So, for example, you can invest in these at like maybe 5,000 MT, 6,000 MT, right? A limitless spot is not a bad one as well. But I think the, I think one of the best ones is going to be Interceptor. If you, I'll show you guys in a second how many Interceptors I do have, but. If you guys don't know, Interceptor is one of the best defensive badges, defensive badges in the game, if not the best defensive badge in the game. And what I'm doing right now is I'm buying any of them for 1.5k or cheaper. So I'm going to pick up another one for 1.5. I'm going to pick up another one for 1.75. Anything under 2000 MT or around 2000 MT, I'm going to pick up because I think Interceptor, if a card that comes out on Friday needs Interceptor, which is a good chance a card on Friday comes out and they need Interceptor, this badge could go for 10, 15,000 MT, and I'm buying these for all less than 2,000 MT. But my 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 plan is basically hope they go up to at least around 5,000 MT. You guys can see these are all stacks of 20, so we have 80 intercept silver, still 80 silver intercepted badges. I know that's a lot. You guys may not be able to afford 80 of them, right? I'm not saying you have to buy them in this much bulk, but definitely I think you guys can afford maybe 10 of them. That's only 20,000 MT, right? Maybe 40, of them, maybe 20 of them. That's 40,000 MT, right? Maybe spend 20 to 50,000 MT on some silver intercept interceptor badges and honestly if these go up to let's say even 4,000 MT let's just say they double right let's say you spend 20,000 MT on 10 silver badges or on 10 silver interceptors and let's say they go up to 4,000 MT which is very possible right now you just doubled your profit so we spent 20,000 now we have 40,000 we made 20,000 profit right I mean, who doesn't want that? You know what I mean? That's an easy 20,000 MT, right? The more you buy in bulk, the more you can make. And 4,000 is a very low estimate. Like these silver interceptor badges, like these, this silver interceptor could go all the way up to, like I said, 8, 10, 15,000 MT if the player that comes out on Friday needs interceptor. But even if they don't have, even if they don't need interceptor, badge prices always go up on the weekend. Looking at Chef, I'm pretty sure it went pretty expensive because again, I think Lonzo Ball needed it. I think Derek Rose may need it or Jalen Rose may needed it. So this went up to about 10,000 MT. It's fallen down back to around five thousand so like if you guys check the market it's super easy to see when badges are down and when badges are super expensive on the weekend just check badge prices they're so expensive and then look on monday tuesday wednesday they are so cheap so i think chef is another decent one you could look at honestly i think defensive badges um are very very good like i said rip protector went up like crazy i think pickpocket could be another great one right 
pickpocket for 800 mt also by the way guys you want to buy bronze and silver badges you don't want to buy gold ones gold ones are the least valuable the least rare they just honestly have the worst amount of value so i think silver i think silver pickpocket is another great one for only 800 mt and this is one that you don't have to have a crazy amount of mt to invest in right maybe intercept or 2000 maybe that's a little bit too much so i think pickpocket could be a good one i think rebound chaser is another good shout right rebound chaser is all the way down to you know 2000 mt 1.7 1.6 so i'd say buy any rim protect or any rebound chasers for under 2000 thousand mt i think could be a great buy 1.3 i saw a couple 1.4s 1.5s right i think anything under 2000 mt could be a very good buy because of the fact that if you guys remember when that galaxy of lebron james came out he did not have rebound chaser rebound chaser went up to 10,000 mt silver rebound chaser went up to 10,000 12,000 mt when the lebron james came out so maybe if we get a paul george maybe if we get a ben simmons maybe if we get like a what well, cream and will they'll have a they'll have a rebound chaser but if we get a paul george i think i think we might get a paul george i think we might get a paul george this, this friday so i'm kind of banking on paul george and if a card that comes out that needs rebound chaser and he's one of the best cards in the game like paul george would be paul george would probably be the second best or even best small forward in the game kind of around the kevin durant he'll just be a better defensively kevin durant card if he needs rebound chaser let me tell you rebound chaser is getting up to 10 to 12 000 mt chase on ours is another very good one i'm pretty sure chase down went up in price a lot yeah now chase down's down so chase on ours went up to five to six thousand mt because i know james harden needed chase down i'm pretty sure lonzo needed chase down i'm not sure but i know for sure harden needed chase down right so this badge went all the way up to five to six thousand mt now it's down to 1.5 1.4 probably can find them for 1000 mt so i think 1.4 1.5 is a great buy for silver chase down artists if you guys notice i'm looking at a lot of silver badges because silver badges usually have usually tend to be the most expensive right like bronze and silver badges at base value like right now are all about the same price but then when like let's say a card needs you know hall of fame rebound or needs gold rebound chaser silver rebound chaser bronze rebound chaser silver rebound chaser usually tends to go for the most so that's why i'd say look to invest in silver badges over bronze but i think bronze are really good too um some other ones intimidator defensively could be a pretty good show you can maybe look to get bronze interceptor 2000 mt 1.3 right maybe snag a couple of these but if i'm going to give you guys my like, top five badges to invest in i would say quick first step probably not number one i'm not gonna really rank them but i think quick first steps a really good one i think um limitless spot up could be number two it's down in price it definitely could go up so i would say limitless swap number two and then you could go interceptor number three these are not in order by the way i think interceptor is a great one like i said you could look at chef i think rebound chaser is a great one i'd say rebound chaser is probably number four and then i'd say pickpocket number five so pickpocket rebound chaser uh quick first step bullet pass not bullet passer quick first step limitless spot up interceptor those would be my five to really go look for um you guys can obviously look at the other ones right like chef like even quick chain right if a guard that comes out that needs quick chain definitely could go up in price right um like i said chef hyperdrive is another good one i think harden needed hyperdrive so this badge went up a little bit in price honestly i think the best ones to look for are gonna be defensive badges defensively and shooting badges right like limitless spot up interceptor for defense right rebound chaser for defense pickpocket for defense right quick first steps playmaking i think quick first step is honestly a great one i think the top two ones are gonna be quick first step and are gonna be interceptor and you guys can let me in the comment section down below will you guys will you guys be investing in some silver and bronze badges for this upcoming week i definitely will be like i said showed you guys we have about 80 interceptor badges 80 silver interceptor badges and i'm hoping like we bought these for all 2000 mt or less right so we spent just let's just talk about these 80 right so we spent 2000 mt so we spent 100 at least 2000 under 2000 guarantee right so 160,000 mt were spent if these if these go up to 4,000 MT, right? Now we're gonna be at 320,000 MT. So we're gonna gain 160,000 MT if these do go up to 4,000. If they go up to 8,000 and we three times our profit or four, no, four times our profit, what's 160 times four, right? That's 320, right? I'm pretty sure at 320. So if these go up to 8,000 MT, we are going to be making a bunch of MT. So yeah, I just want to make this quick video talking about, like telling you guys what are the best badges to invest in, especially for this coming up Friday. I think we could see Paul George, right? Which could, which definitely could help with the rebound chaser. I think we could maybe see a Will Chamberlain. We could see a Cream, a, live, a Cream, Cream Abdul Jabbar who may who may need quick first step who may need interceptor who may need limitless spot up same thing with wilt and then paul george he might need interceptor he might need limitless he might need a uh, quick first step so i think these badges could be very very good i'll catch you guys in the i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace